Hello, I am Sachin Rathod, working as assistant professor in mechanical engineering department from Walton Stop Technology, Solapur. Today, we are dealing with the topic cam and follower from the course Kinematics and Theory of Machines. Today, we will discuss the basic things about the cam and follower in this part one. So, the learning outcome of this session is learner will able to understand classification of cam and follower. See, we will right now uh, observe the introduction part of cam and follower. The cam is rotating machine element which gives reciprocating or oscillating motion to another element known as follower. The simple figures I had given us, so in which the rotating member is called as cam or it is a kind of the driver and the element which is having the reciprocating motion that is called as follower also it is known as driven member so the driving member is called as cam and the driven member is referred to as a follower so you can think about this what are the applications of cam and follower you can pause this video and you can think about this the applications of cam and follower generally in the automatic machines so we are observing or in the paper cutting machines we are observing the cam and follower mostly it is observed in the ic engine uh, because in the ic engine the inlet and outlet valve are operated by cam and follower otherwise we can observe uh, the applications of cam and follower in machine tool mechanism also we can observe the applications of the cam and follower in printing control mechanism or in the paper cutting machine so these are the some applications of the cam and follower now we will see the classifications of cam and follower firstly we will observe the classifications of follower according to the surface in contact means in which nature the follower surface is going to contact with the cam surface in that first one is the knife edge follower so as shown in the figure the follower is going to contact with the cam by the knife edge of the follower is called as knife edge follower so if you observe the figures in that the reciprocating motion of the follow will occurs as the cam will get rotates but this kind of the knife edge followers uh, we are using rarely because as the knife edge is the contact between follower and the cam the excessive wear rate is a major problems of this knife edge follower second classification is flat face or mushroom follower so as the contact between follower and the cam is perfectly flat in shape so it is called as flat face or the mushroom in which we are observing the thrust is less and it can be minimized by offsetting the follower third one is a roller followers in which the contact between roller and the cam is due to the rolling action so it is called as roller follower so this roller followers generally observed in the stationary engine where the space is more and also it is observed that it requires the large amount of the forces will act so generally this type of the roller followers is used in the stationary engine and if you observe the uh, cam with flat face followers it is used in the automobile and the fourth classification is spherical face follower in the spherical face the followers the contact between cam and followers is the spherical shape so generally if there is a stress concentration problems in the flat face followers we can refer 
द स्पेरिकल फेस फॉलोअर सो दीज आर द सम क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द कैम एंड फॉलोअर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द सर्फेस कॉन्टैक्ट देन सेकेंड क्लासिफिकेशन इज अकॉर्डिंग टू द मोशन ऑफ द फॉलोअर फर्स्ट वन इज अ रेसिप्रोकेटिंग और ट्रांसलेटिंग फॉलोअर्स सो द रेसिप्रोकेटिंग फॉलोअर इज नथिंग बट द फॉलोअर्स विल रेसिप्रोकेट इज कॉल्ड एज रेसिप्रोकेटिंग और ट्रांसलेटिंग फॉलोअर एंड बी इज ऑसिलेटिंग और रोटेटिंग फॉलोअर्स इन विच द फॉलोअर विल गेट ऑसिलेट्स सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज ऑसिलेटिंग और रोटेटिंग फॉलोअर सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस फिगर इन विच द फॉलोअर विल गेट ऑसिलेट्स सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ पॉइंट आई विल शो दैट so the follower will get oscillates like this about this pivot point so it is called as oscillating followers and the reciprocating follower this follower will reciprocates up and down in this direction so it is called as reciprocating or translating follower then the third classification of the followers is according to the path of motion of the follower in that first one is a radial follower in which the followers will moves radially along the center of the cam so the axis of the followers is along the axis of the cam it is called as a radial follower and the second type is offset followers in which the follower positions is offset by certain distance from the axis of the cap so in this figure this is the axis of the follower and this is the axis of the cap it is offset by this distance so if there is a problem of side thrust at that times we can prefer this type of the follower that is offset follower now we will see the classification of cams first one is a radial or disc cam so in which the follower reciprocates or oscillates in the direction perpendicular to the axis of the cam so previously whatever we have seen uh, the uh, types of the followers so in that the all the cams are radial or disc cams in which the follower reciprocates in the direction perpendicular to the axis of the cam second type is a cylindrical cam in the cylindrical cam the follower reciprocates or oscillates in the direction parallel to the cam axis the follower rides in the groove at its cylindrical interface so in this figures you will observe that the axis of the cam and the follower will reciprocates parallel to the axis of the cam so it is a kind of cylindrical cam so on which the uh, on the cylinder the grooves are provided so due to this grooves on the cylinder the follower will get reciprocates in parallel to the axis of the cam so it is called as cylindrical cam with reciprocating follower and this cylindrical cam with oscillating followers in which as the cam will get rotates the follower will get oscillates follower will get oscillate like this so it is a kind of cylindrical cam so in this bit we had observed the classification cam there are the two classification first one is radial or disc cam this is a radial or disc cam in which this is a axis of the cam is perpendicular to the axis of the follower so the cam axis is about this point and this follower axis both are perpendicular to each other so it is called as a radial or disc cam and in the cylindrical cam the axis of the follower and the axis of the cams are parallel to each other okay these are the classifications of the cam so i have taken the, these references
थैंक यू